Hello everyone, my name is Vijay Potharla. I'm a senior product manager at Amazon Web Services. My focus area is Lambda Edge. Lambda Edge is a global serverless computing service that allows you to run functions at our 150 plus edge locations around the world. This enables developers to build highly customized web and mobile applications and APIs at low latencies for the end users. Today, I'll walk you through setting up a simple example of Lambda Edge function on your Amazon CloudFront distribution. You can follow similar steps to build many advanced customizations possible using Lambda Edge. Let's quickly look at our website. If you scroll down to the use cases section, these examples give you a good sense of what you can build using Lambda Edge. For example, you can customize use your user experience like A-B testing, managing user authorization for your paywall content. You can also use Lambda Edge to simplify your origin infrastructure by offloading a portion of that logic globally to the edge. For example, you can move your security and privacy header logic for all your web properties to the edge. You can do real-time image transformations, global routing and load balancing, automatic bot mitigations, and more. In this tutorial, we will learn how to add security and privacy headers to HTTP responses that CloudFront receives from your origin. Before we get started, if you haven't already done so, sign up for AWS. Choose Create an AWS Account and enter the required information to complete sign up. Also, this tutorial assumes that you have a CloudFront environment to work with and that includes an origin to serve content from. But if you don't have that set up already, please take a few minutes to set up your CloudFront distribution before you proceed with this tutorial. Please take a look at our Getting Started page on CloudFront website. If you scroll down here, you can see simple quick video tutorial for setting up CloudFront distribution and with S3 origin. All right, let's get started. This tutorial is broken down into four steps. We will first create a Lambda function with a logic to add security headers to the HTTP responses. Next, we will perform a unit test for the function using sample test events provided by the Lambda console. Then we will configure the CloudFront trigger for the created function. And finally, we'll verify whether your function runs on your CloudFront distribution as expected. Let's start with creating a Lambda function. Sign into the AWS Management Console. Open the AWS Lambda Console. Make sure you are in US East 1 Northern Virginia region. You must be in this region to create Lambda Edge functions. Now choose Create Function. On the Create Function page, you can choose one of the following options to create your function. I will be using a Blueprint for this tutorial. As the name suggests, Blueprints give you a good starting point with sample code and configuration presets for common use cases. Choose Blueprints and then filter for the CloudFront Blueprints. Type CloudFront in the search field and then press Return. The keyword CloudFront is shown and all the Blueprints that are tagged for CloudFront are listed. From the results, choose the CloudFront Modify Response Header Blueprint to use as a template for this function. This template gives you a good starting point for modifying the code to add security headers to responses from the origin. Now, enter the information about your function. Function name, choose execution role for your function. It's easiest to get started by using the basic Lambda RH permissions. So for this option, choose create new role from policy templates. You can see that basic edge Lambda permissions is automatically added for you because you chose a CloudFront Blueprint as a basis for your function. Adding Edge Lambda permissions to the execution role allows CloudFront to run your Lambda functions for you in addition to pushing execution logs to CloudWatch. Enter the role name. If you scroll down, you can see the sample code provided by the Blueprint we selected. Go to the bottom of the page, click Create Function. Within few seconds, Lambda creates your function we can now go ahead and change the code and configuration as needed. Before that, let's quickly look at how the function configuration page is structured. Let's start with the designer section. On the left, you can see different event sources that can be configured to trigger Lambda function. We also see a visual representation of your function configuration. Since we selected CloudFront Blueprint, the CloudFront trigger is automatically added with pending deployment information. We'll get to that later. Choose the function box to highlight it, as you scroll down, you can see the Cloud9 IDE where you can edit the code. Further down the page, there are some additional configuration settings that you can modify. For example, you can increase the memory of your function based on your performance needs. For this tutorial, we will leave it at default values. Also, 
Note that some of the settings like network DLQ are not applicable for Lambda Edge. Going back to the function code, I replace the header section of the code with the logic to add security headers. In the function, we are simply adding these headers to the response from the origin before returning the response to the end users. Now click Save. Let's quickly unit test the function by using the sample test events provided by the console. The function can have up to 10 test events. The events are persisted so you can switch to another computer or web browser and test your function with the same events. Now select configure test event. As you can see, the sample event template is automatically added based on the CloudFront blueprint we chose. Event template is just a JSON object to be consumed by the Lambda. In this test event, JSON object emulates a sample 200 response generated by the origin, including some headers that are added at the origin itself. Enter event name and click create. Now going back to the main configuration page, all the test events that you create will show up here. Select the test event that we just created and click test. Console provides you the execution result, succeeded or failed, along with details. In this case, as you can see, the function execution succeeded. Click here to expand details. As you scroll through the result returned by your function execution, we can see security headers got added to the JSON object. The summary of execution also includes some metadata for the function execution. For example, duration, resource configured, and memory used. Close this tab and go back to configuration page. The next step is to configure a CloudFront trigger to run your function. Choose the CloudFront box to highlight it. Below in the configure trigger section, choose deploy to Lambda Edge to open a page where you can define the trigger and then deploy it. Select the CloudFront distribution ID to associate with your function. In the drop-down list, choose the distribution ID. Select the cache behavior to use with the trigger. For this tutorial, leave the value set to star, which applies your distribution's default cache behavior to all requests. Choose the CloudFront event. This trigger specifies when your function will run. We want the security headers function to run whenever CloudFront receives a response from the origin. So in the drop-down list, choose origin response event. Under confirm deploy to Lambda Edge, select the checkbox to acknowledge that a new function version will be created and the trigger will be deployed in all AWS Edge locations. Finally, choose deploy. The deployment usually takes few minutes but can take up to eight minutes. You can check to see if replication is finished by going to the CloudFront console and viewing your distribution status. Click here. Check for the distribution status to change from in progress back to deployed, which means that your function has been replicated. Now that we have deployed the function to our AWS locations around the world, let's verify that the function works by accessing the CloudFront distribution. In a browser, Type the URL for your distribution that you configure to trigger Lambda function. For example, you might use a URL similar to this. Open your browser's web developer toolbar. For example, in your browser's window in Firefox, open the context menu and then choose network. Reload the page to view your image again. On the right side, you can see various parameters of your request and response. Under headers section, look through the list of headers to verify that the expected security headers are included in the list. For example, you might see headers similar to those in the following screenshot. If the security headers are included in your headers list, great, you have successfully created your first Lambda Edge function. This concludes the tutorial for setting up Lambda Edge function for your CloudFront distribution. Be sure to look at the additional resources on this page with links to Lambda Edge blog posts and design best practices. Thank you.